a certain point, we're all the same. Everyone from Tennessee is gonna hate me. I am gonna get so much backlash for this. <laughs> Probably North Carolina. They seem to have it all. I would definitely go to North Carolina. I mean, North Carolina is pretty appealing. Every time I go up there, it's just amazing how beautiful it is. There actually are different seasons up there, and that's something we don't get in Mississippi. We have summer and then two weeks of fall. You got the mountains, Asheville's cool, they have a beach. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little jealous. Uh, I would probably move to South Carolina because it's just next to North Carolina. South Carolina, because I think it's so beautiful. Oh, uh, Louisiana, specifically New Orleans. If I did have to pick somewhere else, it probably would be Florida, but um, Floridians are a little... If you just gave me the chance to move anywhere, I mean, Florida is right there and there's the beach, but you know, people from Florida are a little crazy. I mean, Tennessee, it's so close. <laughs> it's not much different. So I would definitely move to Tennessee if I had to move anywhere. You know, I would say Tennessee. If you like major sports, you can go to Nashville, Memphis. You know, obviously have the college scene in, in, in Memphis, Nashville, and in Knoxville. Uh, maybe Georgia, Atlanta. I like what that might be offering. I don't know, I've never been though, so. I feel like I have to do Alabama because I did. Plus the barbecue was pretty good. It would probably be Alabama and I would put pictures of, uh, of the Gulf Coast all around me. And then it would be kind of like I'm in the Florida Panhandle. I think there's two sides to this coin and they're both very strong. So it's either A&M or UT. My dad went to A&M, my mom went to UT. So I don't really have a dog in the fight. For UT, the other rival would be Oklahoma. For the most part, the University of Oklahoma is the, the school. That's the one that everyone's like rah, rah, rah for. Um, and they hate Texas, so. I think the most hated college football team would be NC Tar Heels. No one gets down with the Tar Heels, but I am an HBCU guy, so we have three big rivals, Hampton, Howard, and Old Dominion University. Uh, I would say East Carolina, because they're still probably better than NC State and North Carolina, so go Pirates. Ooh, probably uh, UNC Chapel Hill. We call them the, the wine and cheese school. They kind of stick their nose up at us. A little snooty bunch up there, but Oh, definitely Chapel Hill for sure. Okay, so what's really interesting about that question is Kentucky is what I like to call basketball land. And so we know that Kentucky has terrible football. <laughs> it's gotten better, but I would say that if we had to pick someone, it's probably Alabama. Most people can't stand Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> they just are mean and beat up everybody. So they're easy to not like because Nick Saban at once upon a time used to be our coach and he is no longer our coach. Outside of the state, because we hate each other a lot in state, I think hands down it's Tennessee because they low down, they dirty, and they some snitches. Um, nowadays, it's kind of translated between a cross between Tennessee and LSU. Oh, Florida, Florida Gators for sure, most hated. The people of Florida most hate the University of Florida at Florida State. It's more inside anger than it is, you know, being mad at another part of the country. I don't know sports at all. I know Auburn, Alabama, and I know they got beef with Tennessee, but I'm like, I feel like Tennessee probably feels like they got, you know, like their own thing, maybe like with Florida or something. How am I to know? I don't know sports. Maybe New Orleans. I think maybe that's a little overrated. It was kind of tourist trappy. Oh, uh, I don't want to be mean, but like, I don't know, like I want to say like Columbia, South Carolina, but I also don't think that's like on anyone's list of must go. So if it's not rated, can it be underrated? The overrated Southern city to me is is Miami. And I know a lot of people won't consider that Southern. And it, it's, it's in the great place to visit. Definitely don't want to live there category. Y'all, all my answers are going to personally fit my family. <laughs> okay, Memphis. <laughs> I don't know, I went once and I wasn't really that interested. <laughs> I'll say this, I love Louisville, I'll put that out there. But I don't feel like it's a true southern city, I feel like it's a midwest city. <laughs> Atlanta. I think Atlanta's a little overrated. Atlanta. <laughs>
there are a lot of things, a lot of things that I love about it, but Atlanta is just so big. Look, there's a lot of culture, there's a lot of food. You can find that elsewhere in the South. Uh, what I don't miss, again, traffic. <laughs> it's just a, it's just concrete everywhere. I wouldn't want to live in Atlanta. I would never, ever want to live there. I think the people that live in Atlanta, Georgia, wish that people stopped coming there. Absolutely, even the Braves got out of Atlanta. So think about that. Listen, everyone from Tennessee is gonna hate me. I don't like Nashville that much. Nashville. <laughs> Easy, Nashville. It feels fake. It feels like a really expensive, like cowboy boot that's never gonna touch the dirt. That's Nashville, if I had to describe it as an object. I don't like it. I grew up 45 minutes from Nashville in Kentucky. You know, we would go there because that was special for us. And when I became an adult and went, I was just like, this is okay. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> you just hear people talk about how great Nashville is. I go for work pretty frequently and I'm just kind of not really impressed. Because Mississippi's so well known for music and the music heritage that was there, maybe I would go up into Nashville and steal the Music Hall of Fame. Maybe the Grand Ole Opry. I think that is like one of the coolest places. You know what we should have? We should have the College Football Hall of Fame. I mean, Georgia, do you really think you earned the College Football Hall of Fame? It belongs in Alabama. You know what? Uh, I would take the Coca-Cola factory and throw it into North Carolina next to the Pepsi facilities as well, just so we can have them duke it out, like in the same state, settle it once and for all, Pepsi or Coke. And when I say Coke, Coca-Cola, no difference. Uh, the St. Louis Arch. And we used to go on field trips there and I love going to the top. <sighs> Maybe outside of Amarillo, there's those like Cadillacs in the ground. That's pretty cool. Uh, probably Dollywood in, in Knoxville. That's a good one. Dollywood! <laughs> oh, this is an easy one. We would steal and Devo the Space Center from Huntsville. I definitely want the shuttle <laughs> in Huntsville. I want to take it. I think it's so cool. I I'm sorry, I love Huntsville. I want to see those rockets in Florida, man. Those are cool. Who doesn't want to be connected with space? And I didn't even know there was like a bigger one until like a year ago. I thought the one on 65 was the one. And then I saw the other one. I was like, I knew nothing. If, if it was anything, it probably would be beaches. It would be the beach. I would just want it to be on the coast. I feel like, oh no, Disney World, Disney World. I was like, Disney World, uh, duh. I can't even believe it evaded me for so long. Oh my God. The beach or Disney World? <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm honestly just gonna do it and I'm gonna get so many haters. Kentucky is like Southern, but it's not. Oklahoma, 100% Oklahoma, because Oklahoma is in this weird amoeba where no other region wants Oklahoma. Virginia is not the South. I don't know why um, Virginia is even categorized as the South. Maybe there's like some weird reason, but Virginia is not the South at all. Texas, <laughs> because we're Texans first and Southern second. Everyone's gonna agree with me on that one. Uh, this is gonna be like, I don't know, everyone's gonna say this one, but it, it, it's true because so much of the state is its uh, own very crazy thing and that's Florida. 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 It's Florida. I wanna say Florida. Florida has to be at the top of the list. Easily Florida, yeah. Florida is the absolute least Southern state in the South. Florida feels like its own island of weirdness. I don't know if it counts as Southern. The Panhandle is, is, is almost as Southern as you can get. Don't get me wrong. But when you get south of Orlando, it's like all bets are off. Ocala, Orlando, Tampa, especially Tampa down. That's not really Southern. They're an implant state. Yeah, they got great beaches, but they are so not Southern when you talk about the people who live down there. Florida man has no manners. He'll show up naked in a Burger King in a heartbeat, and that mama wouldn't allow that. I mean, no, no. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> I don't know what y'all have going on, so. Sorry, went went. y'all lost. Probably, but Virginia. Now, uh, we do have to inform you that most people answer for Sure, but, yes, because they're just, uh, they're jealous. I did sense a lot of embarrassment to be associated with other subjects. How does that make you feel? 
An embarrassment to be associated with Florida? I think so. Well, I've I've been embarrassing people who've been hanging out with me all of my life, so it's not a that's not a new thing. <laughs> cool. I'm trying to find a way not to say Georgia, but I feel like Georgia does encompass everything you you think of a southern culture. You know, I think there are some southern states that kind of get a bad a bad rap, and I think Georgia sits just to the side of that. <laughs> Texas is the most southern state with the flags. You see them everywhere. They are legitimately everywhere. You know what? If you just took off the Florida panhandle, it would be the most southern. But if, if anybody can can beat Alabama at being southern, I would be, or at football or barbecue, I'd be stunned. Alabama is probably, for, is probably the most southern. Mm, Alabama, hands down, all in. I just feel like it encapsulates like the characteristics of a Southern person. Again, I feel like I'm a homer, but I'm gonna say Alabama. When it comes to all of the Southern cliches, when it comes to the food, the football, the heat, Alabama's got all of it. No one questions Alabama Southernness. I, I'd say Alabama and Mississippi, because I've never heard anyone question Mississippi Southernness. We're right there, we're, we're, we're brothers. Can I pick two? I say uh, either Mississippi or Alabama. Mississippi. Mississippi hits the nail on the head. They are as southern as you can get. Oh, Mississippi without a doubt. <laughs> I don't need to think about that one at all. I have driven through there and there are no rules. I feel like the cops see you going like 90 in a 55 and they're like, yes, you should be doing that. Mississippi. That's the whole tweet. <laughs> Maybe Mississippi would be my guess. What have you heard about Mississippi? Uh, what have I heard? Really don't know. I don't know why I said Mississippi now that you're questioning me. <laughs> I honestly think that I come from the most Southern state. I think Mississippi uh, kind of embodies all of the Southernisms that are out there. I really feel like Mississippi is the most Southern state that there possibly could be. So I'd have to say Mississippi, word yourself.